Hey guys, so this is going to be episode one of my new cottage living let's play. Here is our sim. Her name is Olivia Gates. I did give her the new aspiration country <laughs> caretaker and because of the lot that we were on, we already achieved one thing. Her traits are that she loves the outdoors, she's outgoing, she's an animal enthusiast, and she's a collector. She got that from her aspiration. So the lot we are going to be living on is Cordelia's Secret Cottage. I didn't want to do a rags to riches where she started with nothing because I was just super excited to hop into this let's play and see everything that it has to offer. The story we could say is that Olivia just wanted to move out to the country and see all that it has to offer and she thought that this would be the perfect lot to start simple. I did do some renovating on the inside. I didn't do too much. I just changed some colors of some things, changed the flooring, took out some of the furniture that was here before because I didn't want her to start with everything that she needed that wouldn't be any fun so i did leave her enough money so we could get some groceries and we can get a cow bitch i'm a cow bitch i'm a cow i'm not a cat i don't say now oh and some chickens to start us off so what i like doing is getting two hens and two roosters so i'll do one brown hen one black rooster and then white hen and I'll just do another black rooster. So that's 700 and then I'll have her get a cow as well because we don't really need wool right now. So I'd rather get a cow so that we can actually start getting some milk and stuff so we don't have to worry about that too much. So really quickly, I am just going to order some groceries so that she can actually cook when it's time to eat so the point of this last play i really wanted to be able to explore everything that this pack has to offer i have played around with it a little bit with sims family that i've been playing with i have been posting their gameplay on twitter if you wanted to check that out at little blop i did want to do gameplay that was strictly with this pack and that really focused on everything it has to offer. So we're going to be doing errands and favors and all that kind of stuff. We're going to be participating in the competitions. Okay, so I did just get about three of everything. I feel like that's good to start us off. Let's just go say hello to our new cow. As you can see, I did also give her nails from the Spa Day Refresh. I was so excited for that. No, I do not want to go to Batu. We're not going to be doing that. Um, I don't know what you guys thought about Batu. I did play it like once, made a whole family for it, and never went back. It was super cute, and they have some cute items, but I just didn't like it enough to focus on that too much. So my goal for her is I want her to get enough money to have a big farm. I want her to have a big family, complete her aspiration, <laughs> and be able to live purely off of her farm. So we have two parts of our aspiration complete. All we have to do is socialize with a fox, rabbit, or bird five times, and then visit Finchwick, Old New Henford, and the Bramblewood neighborhoods in Henford on Bagley. Okay, so we live up here in the Bramblewood. It says the natural beauty of these woods have long provided picturesque places for many wild birds, rabbits, and foxes to call home, which will be very beneficial to our aspiration. Whether well, secreting a small surprise under Sophie the snail, bringing an easel to paint the serene Cordelia Falls, foraging for wild mushrooms, or finding romance amongst the ruins of the Isle of Volpe? Volpe? Don't know how to say that. Any sim would be transformed by a day in the Bramblewood. Well, that's pretty exciting because we live there. So real quick, we're just going to head to the gnome's arm so we can go ahead and get to meeting everybody. Alrighty, so now that we're here, let's go ahead and see who's here. There's a cute little gnome there. Never noticed that before. Alright, so let's go say hi to Sarah. We can make some friends, get to know the people of Henford on Bagley. So, I don't want Olivia to get a career. Instead, I want her to basically live off of doing errands and farming and selling crops and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna get to know her, ask about her day. Hopefully, we can become good friends and we can run some errands for her. Did we just become best friends? Yep! Okay, so the rewards are pretty good and we also get paid, so that'll also help a lot. So let's see what we need to do. 
deliver four blueberries, deliver a blueberry, raspberry, and a choco berry. Order and drink a Bagley Berry Fizz Sampler. And then get the village package from someone. Alright, let's see if she has the package that we need. She does not have the package. Alright, that's okay. Um, so right here, Simone Scott. Simon Scott. I'm gonna assume he's married to Sarah. Let's introduce ourselves to him. See if he has the package. It could be pretty weird if your husband had the package and you didn't know, but... I guess we'll see if he does. If he does, I feel like they should probably work on their communication because... Hello? Your wife needs a package. See? Oh, he does have it. Okay, Sarah. It was your husband. He had it the whole time. Easy 90 bucks. One of the best things about living on Henford on Bagley is a sense of community. Everyone here helps foster. Thanks for checking in with a few of the locals and don't be a stranger. We definitely will not be. Now that we're friendly with her, maybe we can haggle and get some cheaper prices. You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off on anything on this table. How about that, huh? Um, I'll yeah, happily so take that, thank you. Yeah. Oh, you only have two? Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Choco berry, we only need one of those. Mm, we'll get two, so we can grow it ourselves. Get the raspberry that we need. And then after that, all that we need is three more blueberries. Man, her shop <laughs> is busy. Nice, we got another Jungle. sale. Another 25%. I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's see if she has any blueberries because that's all that I need. <gasps> she has the blueberries that we need. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go deliver them to the pub owner, Miss Sarah Scott. I love the idea of having little shops and we can get to know the owners. Because usually in bars, there's just like a general bartender who's there just for a shift, but I like that we get to actually chat with the owner, Sarah, and get to know her, and I love the idea of running errands for people. Makes the town feel very welcoming and warm. So first we're doing signature drink one, and then right after that we'll give her the simple request blueberries, and after that we will just sit down and have a drink, and then it's an easy, what, like 300, 400 bucks? We have to do something else, Charming mushroom, verdant mushroom. I thought that was gonna be it. Here I am saying, oh wow, super easy, simple money, but all right, we'll order the drink and then we just gotta give them more things. All right, so I know I said I wanted to make friends and I'm glad that we're making friends, but also I really wanna do these errands. Creature keeper. What does that mean? What's a creature keeper? Hello? What kind of creatures is he keeping? Ooh, she gave us an egg, bottle of milk. She said, oh, yummers, that looks divine. Please accept some small tokens of my appreciation. They'll come in handy the next time you prepare a meal. Now, if you excuse me, I got some tasty food to tuck into. Well, we're not done with you yet, Miss Sarah Scott. Okay, can we please order food? Mm, I want buttered crumpets instead. Oh, okay. So far, I'd say we we're doing pretty awesome at this um the only problem is gonna be making more money than we are spending when it comes to growing a farm okay she doesn't have either of the mushrooms that we need okay so we do have one for damp mushroom now we just need a charming mushroom i have no idea where to find that so we're just gonna buy that from the garden shop and then it says these mushrooms can be foraged in the Bramblewood or cultivated in a home garden. So I guess we're going to Bramblewood and we're going to look around for a mushroom. I haven't been over in this area at all. I know I said I have been playing in this world a little bit, but I haven't done much traveling. I've been to the bar and just one competition. I haven't really dived into it at all, so I'm super excited for this let's play. Ooh, oh, over here this little rabbit home. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so we're gonna dance for the rabbit. Let's see, still no mushrooms. Is that one there? No. Oh, the waterfall looks so pretty. I haven't seen that yet. Oh, is that one? It's a nightly mushroom. 
That is a really big park. Sure, we can say that she likes dancing. Um, so I'm gonna guess that she does dance for the rabbit. Nice. Let's see what else we can do. Ask about foraging. Can we ask it where the charming mushrooms are? Because that would be super helpful. Ooh, we can just discover its gift preferences. I've never seen that option before. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Another part of our aspiration is done. Ooh, it likes meat meals. We'll give it to Beef Wellington. That's fine. <gasps> Yay, we befriended a rabbit and can now purchase a wild rabbit home. That's awesome. I never got that before. Hopper. I already think that's super cute, so we're just going to keep that. Ask for gardening help. Does that mean that the rabbit will come by our house now? Hopper will try to help out Olivia by eating any weeds that appear. Hopper will also give oversized crops a little something extra. <gasps> that's awesome. Okay, let's take the gift. And then we will just continue to look for mushrooms. Two hours later. Okay. Well, she's getting pretty tired, so I think we're just going to head home and try again tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow the shops will have some charming mushrooms. We only need one, so I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. Before we go to bed, I'm going to have her plant some of the crops that we got, if we have any extra Oh, we actually got a lot of stuff. So, if we're doing the errands, we got some flour, we got an egg, some meat, we got some sugar, and we got watermelon salad. That is now spoiled. Awesome. Okay, so choco berry. That's ours to keep. We're gonna put a raspberry there. Just have her start planting them. Blueberry. We're good to plant. I think I'm gonna have her plant the verdant mushroom that we have. That way we can just have some mushrooms in case anybody else needs it as well. After she's done that, we'll just have her go to bed. Alright, so she is about to starve, but I'm gonna have her go to the bathroom first. We're not doing college, thanks though. We're just gonna take a look at what she's able to make, and it is dress eggs and toast. Hopefully today we'll be able to find our charming mushrooms, because we definitely need those so we can finish up the errands. I love how cute her little cottage is. Wait, a rabbit. Hello. Oh my god, is that Hopper? Oh, it is Hopper. Aw, Hopper came by to help. Let's actually see if we can afford the rabbit hole. Oh, it is, but we can't afford it. We need 400 and we only have 124. Hopefully today we can do enough errands that we can afford that because I think it'd be awesome to have Hopper living with us and maybe we can get some more rabbits to help us out. I didn't get no sleep cause of y'all. Y'all not gonna get no sleep cause of me. All right, there's her eggs and toast for breakfast. Let's go ahead and look at the calendar. This weekend there is the Finchwick Chicken Bear. Chicken competition. Egg competition. All right, well, we'll definitely be doing that, so we'll have to see which chicken we think is our prize chicken. Oh, we have the welcome wagon now. Okay. Thought this would have happened yesterday, but it's fine. Just go ahead and put that in the sink for her since she can't do it herself. I know they just bring a fruitcake, and Sims usually don't like it, but it's free food. We could use it right now. Hopefully they don't mind that we have, like, nothing inside. Don't know what's going on there, but okay. I'm gonna give them some privacy. Let's see what we know about them already. They're married. Okay, all right. Cute. I do forget already which house is theirs. I know when we were looking for the charming mushroom, there were two houses. I think one might have been the rental, and the other one was probably their house. Those chickens are still doing something. Okay, so I just looked up some names, and I think Buttercup is super cute. So we're going to be naming her Buttercup. I definitely want to put her, like, get some clothes off of Plopsy, I think. We're going to make this guy our chicken for the chicken competition <gasps> what is that oh is that hopper oh that is so cute oh i love that hello hopper what a sweetie let's go ahead and name the rooster not naming it buttercup we're gonna name it nugget so i think that's cute 
It may be a little bit wrong, but I think it's cute. I'm gonna dance for Nugget. I don't know what is going on with these two chickens, but they're just completely in sync and it's weird. I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot they were over. And they're just flirting in my kitchen while I take care of the farm. We're just gonna go ahead and end the welcome wagon. Oh wait, did I pick the wrong one? Oh, I did. Okay, we'll just name him Pierre, since that was his auto name. Pierre is going to be our prized chicken. Why are they still here and making a mess? Alright, well these guys gotta go. Did he just prank my toilet? He did. Why are they still here? They, they gotta go. I feel like at this point, they're just trying to mess with me and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Alright, so that is going to be all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of my cottage living let's play and I will see you guys soon.